Hello and welcome to the Status Report highlight for the 15th of March 2016. And today, Brian, Murak and Victor will be giving us a bit of info on this week in regards to subjects such as current blocker issues, work on spawn system and network code, and the new animation system. So to start off with this status report, we're going to go over why we haven't seen a 6.0 experimental push yet. There are still some blockers, so I'll go over those for you right here. Inventory UI. With the move to DirectX 11, we'll no longer be able to support the legacy user interface. Thus, functional parity with the legacy UI has to be achieved on the new UI. The design team are currently working on resolving the last few bugs blocking us from having that parity. And what that basically means is having the new UI with the new renderer in DirectX 11 working just as good as it works now in its current 5.9 state. So until that's been achieved, we won't see 6.0 be moved as, like it says, the legacy user interface just will not support DirectX 11. Reload mechanics. The move in 6.0 to involve manual bolt cycling as well as misfire and jamming management via the charging handle on the weapons such as the M4 has an impact on every firearm in the game. We're currently working to resolve some functional hiccups in the switching between magazines and the need to chamber twice before firing from a new magazine. Character loading and saving. A very large volume of unneeded traffic was discovered when investigating issues with character loading. A rewrite of the methods used to save and load from the central hive. Once we restore proper functionality, this area will no longer be a blocker. Tasks completed. 6.0 build optimization pass. Performance in cities increased by 50% from initial build. Optimization is ongoing, however. Cleared rendering test pass list of visual rendering based bugs. Rendering settings UI. Current focus MSAA or multi sample anti aliasing hardware multi sampling support. Alpha to coverage GPU feature, which will increase quality of vegetation rendering. Finalization of in-game UI features. Higgs will be discussing some of the system and pending changes tied to the new animation system and player controller over on the official forums later this week. And next up, for the YouTube channel, we're working on our next devlog video on 6.0, covering performance comparisons between DirectX 9 and DirectX 11 rendering. Once 6.0 hits experimental branch, we'll start putting together our first What's New with 6.0 video, where DE Hawks, SMOS, and Hicks go over the changes in 6.0 and what to expect gameplay wise for the official Daisy YouTube channel. And lastly, as 6.0's time on Experimental starts to draw to a close, we'll be bringing back the official Daisy Survivor Game eSport, the Survivor Games. The Survivor Games 7 qualifiers will be a fantastic way for us to stress test 6.0 before it hits stable, and to see how the new inventory and reloading and chambering mechanics work in a high stress situation. Keep an eye on the official Survivor Games and Daisy Twitter accounts for more information on this. So it looks like we're not too far off 6.0's experimental branch now, but there are still some blockers, and hopefully the team can squash those pretty rapid so we can get testing ourselves on 060 with the new renderer. From what it says here, we may get the new UI, reloading and chambering mechanics as well in 6.0. And that's without anything else that's not been mentioned, like new weapons, the Desert Eagle, oh my god, that possibly could be in 6.0. So fingers crossed, and all the support to the dev team, let's hope we get 6.0 soon. Also, I'm pretty hyped for the Survivor Games return. It's gonna be good. The last two weeks we spent our time mostly on bug fixing of some of the critical issues like client server crashing or issues with weapon reloading, because we want that first release of 6.0 Experimental to be in the best state as possible, which is something I always answer when people ask me why have we had not had 6.0 yet. I'm not on the dev team, but I always reply with, there may be a delay because the team wants 6.0 to be the best first iteration with the new renderer as it can possibly be. With that being said, don't expect it to be perfect, there will be bugs, it's a new technology coming into day Z. it's being replaced of its legacy with the new DirectX 11, but as we've said before, it will have a parity with the current builds that we are playing now. Which means the team is currently aiming for playability and the build to be as stable as they currently are now with 059, albeit with brand new tech in their very first iterations. Designers have started to use the new damage system, so we have few requests on improvements, but they aren't blockers. A lot of issues were fixed in loot distribution and some new features were added. For example, random loot spawning in world containers. This new feature is now moved to designers so they can set it properly. We have also prepared new infected and animal spawners, but this won't be ready in 6.0, as we need to do some work in AI simulation. We will talk about this new system in the next Stannis report. Maybe the most interesting thing is that we've started to rewrite some core parts of the network code, which should improve desync issues and server performance. Well, that's some good news right there on its own, let me tell you. I hope that we'll be able to show these improvements. Merrick hopes that we will be able to show these improvements in 6.0, but he doesn't want to give any promises because it's possible that first iteration will break the game even more.
The ongoing work on weapon animations is still far from finished, as there are more ways in which state a gun can be when a player will initiate the reload. The proper animation has to be created to provide a corresponding reload action. Some reloads are being replaced with more polished ones, and many new animations are being created to support the possibility to load a chamber with a single round of ammunition. The animation sets for each gun now have magazine reload animations, manipulation with weapon mechanism, chambering animations, and more is still to come. The main player graph now contains most of the important functionalities, but we are constantly going through existing animations and filling out some missing ones or replacing with more polished versions. Also, the wounded character now has some set implementations as a prototype, some walks and runs, but we will have to wait for all the animations until we fully introduce it. The previously mentioned improvements to pulling out and hiding of weapons was slightly polished in the past week. We have achieved what we were aiming for. While standing still, you can start aiming a gun, begin walking, and meanwhile change stance to crouch. It will just work. Oh, and of course, you can stop while doing that at any time. This of course means a lot to other player actions, like for instance gestures or eating, as can be seen in the video capture from our animation editor preview. And that's all from this week's status report highlight for the 15th of March 2016. Some really good information in there, hopefully like I've said, not too long till we hit 6-0 on an experimental branch. I'm really looking forward to it, get my teeth right into that renderer, as well as with you guys, it's going to be super fun. As far as animations and doing animations and gestures while walking, that will make a huge difference to play styles. Gone will be the days of putting your hand up to wave and not being able to move and just getting shanked in the bum hole. In the future we should be able to run while we're waving and laughing at our newfound friend that decided to pull a gun on us or run while eating beans and drop even more of that food on the floor. So let me know in the comments below what you guys and gals think of the information in this week's status report. Also leave a like as it really helps the channel out a lot, and I'll see you peeps next time.